when we're simply counting and manipulating whole objects, integers are fantastic. But sometimes we need to deal with numbers in their more mathematical sense, and we need a data type that will allow us to express ideas that are not entirely whole numbers. Floating point numbers, or floats, are a Java primitive type that allow us to express numbers that have decimal points and fractions. In this video, we'll be modifying some float and integer variables side by side to see how they are similar and different. So let's start by declaring two variables, one an integer and one a float. As we know, once we've declared these variables, we're free to modify and assign to them in future lines of our Java program. Let me quickly show you that we can also modify and assign to these variables in the same line that they're declared. So on line 7, where I have declared my inumber integer variable, I'm free to immediately give it the value of 5. You'll notice if, that if I try and do something very similar with our float variable, NetBeans is going to yell at us. And in fact, if we attempt to compile our program, we're going to get a legitimate compiler error message. When we use an explicit number in Java, that is typing out the digits rather than working with a variable, that value still has to be given a type in Java. When we type out a number without any decimal places, the type that it's assumed to be is integer. So our assignment on line 7 works just great. However, a number with decimal places is assumed to be this type called double, which we'll talk about a little later. It's a sister type of float, but it's not quite the same. So what we need to do is tell Java to treat this 5.5 here as a float type number. To do that, all we need to do is put an F after the digits. Okay, to make sure we've gotten that syntax all right, let's uh, give our program some super basic functionality. Let's use system.out.println to print in sequence our integer number and then our floating point number variable. When we build this program, our compiler error has gone the way and when we run it, we see the two assigned values as expected. Nothing too exciting there. Now, rather than assigning explicit values to our variables, let's do some basic arithmetic so we can see how integer and floats, when modified in Java, behave differently. In Java, both floats and ints are primitive types, the logical building blocks of the programming language. That means that we can compare and modify them using mathematical operators like division. We know that if we attempt to divide one integer by another, we'll always get a whole number as a result, even if the rules